everybody and happy new year thank you so much for stopping by my channel today's video is going to be a huge haul I got some stuff during the Black Friday sale and obviously for the holidays so I kind of just want to show you guys some of the new stuff that I have and I figured the easiest way to show everything to you is just to put it on a try in a, in a try on haul so bear with me there are a few things to get through um, this season when I was just kind of doing shopping I was looking for just different pieces things that I don't normally gravitate towards because I am always in the mood to play around with my style so we're gonna jump right in and we're gonna start with my obvious favorite shoes so if anyone's wondering where the, what this shirt says it says nap queen I'm also very sorry that I can't get my whole head in the frame but my hair is kind of high up today so and it's also not the star of the show so it's fine that it's not the picture. Um, this was a gift. If ever, anyone's wondering where it's from, I have no idea because it was a gift. I absolutely love it because I love to take naps. It's my, my kind of thing. But let's jump in. Like I said, we're going to start with shoes. So the first item for this haul are these beautiful boots from Lola Chutique. They are kind of, I guess you could say, a dupe of the Chloe boots. Um, I, I don't remember what name the Chloe boots are. But there's Chloe... The, the Chloe brand made a boot. Um, I got a pair that's actually red, and it's very similar to this one that mimicked this, that that boot. And then when I saw these in black, I had to get them. They have like a pointed toe here, um, a pretty I would say little heel. I think this is probably less than three inches, and it comes up, up a little bit above my ankle, and has a nice shine finish to it. I really love these because I just kind of wanted a black boot that was. Pretty simple. I didn't have to style. I could style it up or style it down, but it really just was simple and stylish um, to just have in my closet because I really didn't have anything like that. I think the other black boot that I have has like um, not embellishments. I guess it has like pearls and jewels and stuff on it, so it's not simple. But this can be worn pretty much anywhere. And also, I like the heel height for just like going out or going, out, you know, going to dinner or something. I don't have to worry about my feet hurting. So this is why I love these. They look great on. And I've worn them like probably, I don't even know how many times. They're rain resistant. They're really just a great boot. It came in a few colors if anyone's trying to get these. Uh, they did have a few colors. I'm not sure if they're still on the site, but I got them from Lola. So this next shoe is from Public Desire, and I am just in love. I got an over-the-knee boot. Over, I guess these are thigh-high guys boots. And this beautiful gray color. Um, here's the heel for you, and you can see the toe box kind of area. I absolutely adore them. I normally can't wear thigh high boots because my thighs were just too little, but these actually fit pretty well. Now I got them, so I think it's a UK size. So I think I got them in a seven and a half. Um, they're pretty comfortable, pretty true to size. I have a good amount of room here, and the heel height really isn't that bad. I know it looks high, but it's not bad. I just, I love them. They have like a Stuart Weitzman kind of feel and I just think they're beautiful. <laughs> they're definitely going to be a boot that I don't wear all the time because of how unique they are, but it's like when I am pulling it out, just know that I'm coming to not play any types of games because they're just absolutely adorable and I love them. I'm so excited to wear them and style them. So the next item is an accessory. And it is also from Lola Chutique. It is this beautiful, 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 beautiful mustard bag. I mean, mustard is just the color, like, right now. I mean, if you don't like the color mustard, I don't even know what to tell you. Because it's just, it's just the color right now. Like, I don't, I haven't really seen it look bad. And I used to not really like this color because I just felt like it just got too close to, like, booger color or doo-doo color. But I think just this is beautiful. I love that it has this strap so you can make it a crossbody, but you could also remove it if you want to just have a box bag. And then it's pretty spacious. It could fit my camera inside. Um, only my 24 and 50 lens, but it's nice. It's got this brown kind of interior, and I just thought it was super stylish, and I was like, I had to get it. Both this and the black boots actually went out of stock um, during the Black Friday sale, and then I just kind of, if you are, go on Lola, you just sign up for, oh, I kind of want to know when it's back. They sent me an email girl and I literally in seconds just bought it because I loved it. All the items that I just showed you thus far were obviously on sale. I can put the prices in the description box. I think I kind of remember them. 
but I did get them for a good buy because I am a sale shopper, so I tend to like to buy things when they are on sale as opposed to full price. Item are a pair of jeans, and I have yet to try these on, so I'll be trying these on for you guys for the first time. And they're from Old Navy. They are the Rockstar Super Skinny High Rise with slim and secret po secret slim pockets. Um, these are also on sale. I'll put that in the description box. I got it in a size 2 and it is an ankle length. I just like the wash. I thought it was a nice medium wash. It's good for the fall, winter, spring. Medium wash is just one of those safe things. It does have little rips here. Not too much but just you know a little edge and then the bottoms are frayed. So I, I did really kind of just like, I like this look right now. Um, I just kind of, I don't know what it is, but I like the frayed, you know, or raw hem as they call it, just because I think it does something a little different than just a, a regular pair of jeans. And the next pair of jeans are from, you wouldn't believe it. These are from Walmart, guys. These jeans right here. They're also high waisted, skinny fit. Um, I really don't buy anything other than high waisted. I got these in this dark wash and I also got them in black and I really was introduced to them because my I was going shopping for my mom and we saw these jeans, she tried them on, I love the way they fit her so I was like I wonder how they fit me. Now these are by Ellen DeGeneres, it's her EV1 line and I, I mean when I went online after I bought them it's just nothing but great things, they really work for, what I love about them is they work for different body types. So sometimes I feel like certain, certain jean brands cater to certain body types whether that be super skinny girls short girls, tall girls, thick girls, I feel like sometimes the brand just leans in that direction but to be able to see a pair of jeans that looks good on me in my size what four, two four and my mom in a size eight ten I thought was really good. I think she did, Ellen did a great job with this line and I love them so much I got them in two colors and I can tell you this price because I remember it because I was shocked but these were fourteen dollars each for these jeans. I, I just like I like brands like this that have they're good quality. I wash them. The den the, the color is not fading. Um, they fit. They look great with G shoe dress shoes, sneakers. I just I have no complaints. I really love these jeans and I think that they really work for a lot of different people and that's really why I like the brand. So my next pair of jeans are from obviously Bashanova. I don't think I ever do a kind of jean purchase without going on Fashion Nova's website. These are a 5.6 for anyone who's wondering. Um, I do, as you can see, I kind of vary in size. Um, the Old Navy ones were two, the Ellen ones were four. These are 5.6. It really just depends on the, the brand and the cut of the jeans and where they, I guess, they choose to take it in because some stuff just doesn't fit me. Um, but these are them. Again, like I said, I'm really into the ripped denim and the raw kind of frayed edges. I just think that that works for me. I also don't realize that I kind of had a lot of light washing, so I wanted to kind of focus more on medium to dark washes just because it is um, the colder months and I personally just like to wear darker jeans in the cooler months and lighter jeans in the warmer months. That's just my preference. But again, I like these jeans. They're pretty comfortable. My, my one little tip for shopping for, when shopping for jeans on Fashion Nova is to read, 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 read the reviews if you can and read, read, read the description. If you read the description and you see super stretch, odds are they're going to fit very tight. So I would go up a size. If it just says denim um, and doesn't really talk about the stretchiness, then you could probably go true to size. But because I know that these were super stretch, which means they're going to have a lot of elastic kind of stretchy material in it, I knew I had to go up a size or else they would have been too tight in the 2-4. So. My little tip for you guys. So the last pair of jeans um, for this haul are also from Fashion Nova, again in a size 5.6. They're pretty similar to the previous pair. They're just a little bit darker. Um, they have the rips and again the frayed, frayed bra hem. Um, I just really like it. I really just, I'm feeling that kind of look right now. And a little rips here and there I think work for me. I have two pairs of jeans that don't have rips so I feel like I had success, you know, so two that are no ribs and then the other three do. Jeans. Moving on. So my next item is this beautiful, beautiful ColourPop coat and I got coat and I got it in a size extra small from Shein. Now I have seen this brand a lot, a lot, a lot. Here's the coat so you guys can see it. Um, 
I've seen it like this brand a lot on Instagram and I was a little skeptical just because you know sometimes certain brands in certain areas of the world are cheaply made um, so when I was like I'm gonna get a coat but I think if you're gonna shop these kind of stores just I don't I wouldn't not that I wouldn't have an expectation but I wouldn't expect it to be like a coat that you buy in a retail store because that way it saves you kind of the trouble of being disappointed so with this, I actually was like, oh, the coat's probably going to be super thin. It's probably going to... Sometimes I like to wear coats under my actual real coat. It's more of like a fashion coat, and I know I'm going to wear it inside. But this was a little bit thicker. It's lined, which I didn't expect. Um, it's not like super warm. It's definitely a fall coat. But when I wear it in the winter, I'll probably just wear, like I said, another one of my coats that fit over it. And then... Or I'll wear it when I know that I'm going door to door. And when I say that, I mean I'm literally getting out of the car, walking to the next door. So it's not like I'm standing outside. But I just love it. I mean, the fact that it's, it's a color black coat, the, the orange, I think this is such a beautiful color, the gray, the pink, it definitely caught my eye and I had to get it. Now they have it in a few variations. I think one's like beige and um, beige and then the other one's like brown or gray. I'm not really sure, but from Shein again another great price I'll put that down below in case anyone is interested and we're moving on to the next item so so like I said in my first statement not don't have the biggest expectation sometimes when you're shopping online because that's usually I think where people get frustrated is they wanted you know they, they see something and it seems like it's gonna come in a certain way and not necessarily 100% what you expect but I have found that when I kind of read the descriptions kind of um, try and find it on Instagram see if someone else wear, has worn it before then I am not as surprised so with this coat I would say I was a little surprised but I thought of a quick solution so I really just wanted a coat black and white coat um, simple double-breasted and I like that it has this like tweed kind of feel to it but as you can see this coat is not lined, not one bit. Um, it's beautiful and it looks great on me, but it's not lined. So I got the lovely idea. Um, I have another coat. This is also Shein in a size small. I have another coat that has lining that's removable. So when I wear this jacket, it's really, it's really a jacket, not a coat. Um, I'm just gonna put that lining underneath and it'll keep me warm enough. Again, these aren't what I would say winter coats. These are probably more like just fall coats, but. I, I tend to just, you know, when I run a dinner or a birthday party or something and you want to switch it up, that's why I get them. And it was also an, a great price, so not too many complaints here on my end. But that's also another tip when shopping online, just, I don't want to say that you shouldn't have an expectation because you are paying for something, but I think um, it's easy to, looks can be deceiving online. So I think reading, doing your research, if you're not an online shopper but you find that you kind of want to become just do your research and it, it gets easier I like know my size and brands by heart now it's not I don't really always have to research when I'm shopping online because I just know how something's gonna fit because I understand the brand this next um, item is I got these because if you follow me on Instagram I took a picture in corduroy um, burnt orange like cropped pants cropped pants and I got them from Rent the Runway. They were J brand and I absolutely love them but what I really just loved is that color. I thought it was super rich and I just happened to go on Shein um, on Black Friday and I was like let me just look around and I stumbled across these. <laughs> so they are pretty similar. I would say the only difference is the J brand has pockets. This doesn't have pockets. Um, again I'll be you guys are, I'm trying when, when you guys are seeing me try it on this is the first time I'm trying it on so uh, fit wise it works but you obviously see little differences. I just love the color. I love the way that this could be styled. And I thought it was different. Again, this was on sale. I'll put that price down below. But when I see a good price for something that I was kind of looking for, it's hard for me to pass it up. I'm happy. The next item is also from Shein. Again, this is just a color block turtleneck. I'm really into color blocking. Um, so it's a size, I think this is a size small because I knew better to get an extra small. <laughs> but a size small um, and the back is just black nice and simple but just different I always like I said I like to grab stuff that's different that people probably aren't wearing as often um, and just see how I can play with my style and, and make it a little different 
again, when we're talking about deceiving items, this was one of the items that I was a little deceived. So when I saw this on Shein.com, I thought it was more of like a fleece kind of crew neck sweater. This is more like a crew neck, I would say, shirt. It is very thin. There's no lining. I just thought it was fuller. I love it because that's Bria Kala. I mean, I just, I think she was very interesting. But, um... I, that's probably why I got it because I just like the color and I like that it was textured here and it's cute. It's still very cute to me, but I was just expecting a like a crew neck sweatshirt and this is a crew neck shirt. But it's all good. I love it. And the last and final item from Shein is also another item that was inspired from Run the Runway. I got this in an extra small. Um, I had ordered last Christmas actually a dress um, from, I'll put it here so you can see it, from Solis London. Um, and it was black, white, and red just stripes straight down. So when I saw this one and it had mustard, I figured I'd get it. I, if we're comparing to the designer brand, I would say... The designer brand is a lot thicker. This is more like a t-shirt jersey material. It's very stretchy too. But fit and look wise, I love it. I thought it was cute. I thought it was something, you know, exciting. It also matches with my mustard bag. Actually, this is an outfit. Well, my boots. <laughs> you can make it feel like an oversized, you know, denim jacket or something fun. I like this when I go on a date. I think my boyfriend takes me out. So that's the last item from Shein. We have a few items more to just to show you guys. And this last brand is a brand that is not near me. It's also not in the United States that much. Um, but I came across this brand when I studied abroad. And one day I was talking to my boyfriend and he was talking about this, this store. And I was like, oh my god, I didn't know that there was one like in the U U.S. And he's like, oh, there's one right by my house. So every time I go and visit his house, I always make him stop at the store for me and we were just in there shopping and the store is Primark and I saw these beautiful sweaters what I really loved about them is they have this just little detailing on the sleeve they're v-neck they're high-low too the back's a little bit longer than the front and they have this line down the middle I just thought it was very cute kind of gives like a cashmere kind of feel um, they are polyester but they have that expensive look and they were $8, guys. So, um, $8. So I paid for these sweaters. Just checking them out, making sure there's... Oh, there's a little pull here. That's okay. That's all right. Um, but I got it in four colors. So I got it in this cream color. I got it in this gorgeous, gorgeous, like, teal kind of green color. Um, and these are all extra small. I also got it in gray. And of course, the last color that I had to get it in was mustard. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into my holiday Black Friday haul. I hope that you found some new pieces or maybe some new brands that you would will, are willing to shop at. Um, I would never, I always say don't judge a book by its cover. Don't assume that because it's a certain brand or a certain stigma attached to that brand that you can't find something there. It's really just looking and digging for what you want. And ultimately, the reason why I suggest this is because you save a ton of money and get stuff that's super cute, looks expensive, but you don't break the bank. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time in my next video.